Hi, my name is Denisha Bland, and I am one of the assistant deans in the Dean of Students Office. I'm going to talk to you today about the Dean of Students Office and the Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities. Here's just a brief overview of the three main topics that we're going to discuss today. In addition to the Dean of Students Office and the Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities, we'll also go over some other important resources available to you while you're here at UNCG. But first, I would like to say welcome Spartans. We are so excited that you have decided to join the Spartan community and want you to know that we are here to support you. The Dean of Students Office is made up of professionals who work to provide support in a variety of ways for students. Our mission is to initiate learner-centered programs and services that foster a culture of care conducive to academic and personal development. This means that we are here as a resource for you to provide support which aids both your development as a person and as a student. Our support may be initiated in a couple of ways. So first, you might reach out to us for support. This could be due to personal difficulties that are impacting your academic career, to seek clarity on a policy because you are concerned about the well-being of another student, or just to figure out where to start to address your concerns. We may also reach out to you if a member of the campus community contacts us with a concern for your well-being. In this case, we would reach out to you and offer support based on your concerns. One important thing to know about our office is how we keep your information private. You may have heard of the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act of 1974, also known as FERPA. It's important to know that conversations with the Dean of Students Office are protected by this act. We are what is called a mostly confidential resource. This means that in most cases, the information we discuss is protected within the Dean of Students Office and not shared with anyone. However, in situations where a student discloses that they have experienced some kind of sexual violence or other harm, we are required to share this information, but only with specific entities in order to provide the best support. Now that we have covered the Dean of Students Office, let's talk about the Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities. The Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities is an affiliate of the Dean of Students Office. They focus on preparing students for lives of engaged citizenship and leadership in a global society through advocacy, education, and accountability. They encourage honesty, trust, fairness, respect, and responsibility and value the responsibility each student has to be an accountable member of the university community. As a UNCG student, you have some important responsibilities and they are outlined in the university policies. The Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities handles all student conduct and academic integrity functions at UNCG. Students are expected to read all of those policies that I mentioned, and regardless of whether you do read them, you will be held accountable for them. So we encourage you, take some time to read them over. You can find them at osrr.uncg.edu. You also have important rights as a student. UNCG values free speech and expression for everyone on campus. As part of the learning process, we encourage our students to engage in respectful conversations and ask questions of one another to enhance understanding of views that may be different from your own. Although you may see and hear things that are very different from what you may believe, our university campus is a place where community members can exchange ideas freely and learn from one another. We encourage you to read the policy on free speech at osrr.uncg.edu. It's important to take some time to review both of the websites listed here. So you see osrr.uncg.edu, which is the one I just mentioned, but there's also academicintegrity.uncg.edu. 
both of these sites explain more about your rights when going through the student conduct process or the academic integrity process. I encourage you to read them thoroughly so that you are aware of what these look like as well as what your responsibilities are as a student. Okay, so now that we've covered the Dean of Students Office and the Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities, let's talk about some other resources available to you on campus. First is the Office of Accessibility Resources and Services, otherwise known as ORS. If you need accommodations, you want to contact ORS as soon as possible to get that process started. You want to include medical documentation with this as it's important to know that IEPs and 504 plans are not accepted. You can check out the document that we have included in the Canvas folder for more information about the process of registering with ORS. For any specific questions that you may have, you can reach out to ORS by visiting their website at ors.uncg.edu. Next is Student Health Services, which is made up of three main parts. The first is the medical clinic. Some of the things included here are primary care, women's health, and immunizations. Second is the counseling center, which features both one-on-one -on -one and group counseling and some amazing workshops. And then finally, there is the full service pharmacy on campus. But there are two things you need to be thinking about when connecting with Student Health Services right now. And that is submitting your immunization records. The, the deadline for that is forthcoming, so you're gonna wanna reach out to them with any questions. Second, if you are receiving health insurance from an outside source, you want to waive the Student Blue Health Insurance by January 31st. Otherwise, there will be a charge to your account of more than $1,300. So please verify your health insurance as soon as possible. If you have any questions about either of these, you can visit shs.uncg.edu and reach out to Student Health Services. Because we want all UNCG students to have a safe and healthy college experience, we require all students to participate in two online educational programs. Student Wellbeing It Matters teaches students about responsible behaviors regarding alcohol and educates students on what it means to create a culture of respect on campus in order to eliminate sexual violence. Students will be sent an email to their UNCG email account with directions on how to log into these programs. Both parts must be completed before the deadlines to avoid a hold on your registration. Finally, you will find in your Canvas folder these four resources. Please take the time to review these documents in the coming weeks. First is the guide to the Dean of Students Office. While we have already gone over the Dean of Students Office, this document provides a little bit more detail that may be helpful. Next is tips for communicating with your professors. Your professors are a part of your support system at UNCG, but it can feel intimidating to connect with them. This document helps you figure out how to communicate with them to discuss your needs throughout the semester. It is important to note that whenever you come to the Dean of Students Office with an academic concern, we will ask you first if you talk to your professors. That is always the best first course of action. So be sure to review this even if you don't feel nervous. Print it out, save it on your computer, whatever works for you, just in case you may need it for the future. Third is the medical documentation review information form. This is a process that you may see in your professor's syllabi regarding any medical documentation to be reviewed by the Dean of Students Office if you miss a class or if you're out for any physical or mental health concerns. I encourage you to review and save this information so that you are prepared. Finally, there is a guide for the Office of Accessibility Resources and Services. Take time to review each of these documents and save them for your reference. Okay, I know that was a lot of information, but no worries. We are here to help you understand it. You can reach out to us via phone or email to ask your questions and check out our website. There may be some answers there for you. 
Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter for up-to-date announcements and information. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me today. And again, welcome to the Spartan community.